Welcome back to Visualizing the Birth of Modern Tokyo. I'm John Dower, co-founder of the website Visualizing Cultures at MIT, on which much of what we'll be talking about has appeared. To my right is Ellen Sebring, our longtime creative director at Visualizing Cultures. To Ellen's right, Hiromu Nagahata, who teaches Japanese history at MIT. And on my far right, Jim Ulick, my esteemed friend and colleague who is the senior curator at the Smithsonian Institution's Sackler and Freer Galleries. In our previous two modules, we looked at the very beginnings of Tokyo as a modern capital city uh, from 1868 into the 1870s, and we looked particularly through the prints of the great imaginative woodblock artist Kiyochika. Today we're moving ahead, over a half century ahead, and we're going to look at Tokyo between the earthquake and the bombing of the city in World War II. So we're moving to a period when Tokyo is truly a modern metropolis. The moment that sets this off is the great Kanto earthquake of September 1st, 1923, which devastated Tokyo and Yokohama claimed the lives of perhaps 100,000 people and led, following terrible disaster, to the birth of an entirely new city, which then will be destroyed in 1945 at the end of World War II by the air raids launched all over Japan and particularly on Tokyo. <laughs> 